All right. So, uh, this is, I, I've actually seen this post a little bit and we're going to use uh, Interloco's post here. Uh, and then I'm going to confirm it with, uh, well, you'll see in a sec. Anyway, so he says, guys, just to let you know, none of the additions of Chaos Reigns include Shang Tsung. So if you didn't have him previously or didn't have the game at all and chose to buy the collection edition, you should know that if you want Shang Tsung, you'll have to pay another eight bucks. So you guys remember, if you pre-ordered Mortal Kombat 1, right, Shang Tsung was a pre-order bonus and stuff like that, right? And then after the game came out, if you didn't get that one, you just, you know, and you then bought the game, you then have to buy Shang Tsung. Now, Havoc was a locked character that you could only unlock by finishing the story. But Shang Tsung, who was a key, important figure throughout the entirety of the story, they still are now still selling as a separate character. And just to just to confirm, right, just to confirm, right, so so this is this is the Steam page, right? And you can see here, it's a little bit stressed, my bad. Right, so uh, Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns Collection. So if you just if you didn't even have the main game and you wanted to get into it immediately, right? You get the base game. You get the Combat Pack 1 and Dragon Crystals and then gain access to the Story Expansion, Combat Pack 2 and more. Right? So obviously Combat Pack 2 is all of this. Right? Except the, uh, obviously the guest characters, uh, which have one week early access. Who gives a shit? Combat Pack 1, you get that as well. All the cameo fighters come with the, the Jean-Claude Van Damme skin and 1250 Dragon Crystals. Even if you pre-ordered... Even if you pre-ordered this, you don't get Shang Tsung like you did in the first game, right? He is a pivotal character. A pivotal character in the story. Massive, massive, like, you know, uh, story arcs revolved around him and his influence and whatnot. And not just one Shang, there's a couple of Shangs, right? There's two of them. I only find out about one to the end, but you know what I'm saying, right? So now, after a year, after a year, they're like, oh yeah, no, we better force people to buy the, you know, and keep in mind, like, so for Australians, it's like $11.95, so it's like 12 bucks. So Americans, it's 8 bucks, and we get almost an extra 4 bucks on top. For a character that was part of the main story, I would argue that characters like Ermac and Quan Chi were cut out and then repackaged as part of a combat pack. And some people argue, oh, they weren't finished because if you get into the game files, you know, they don't have all their stuff. I understand that. But at the same time, at the same time, right, if you didn't get combat pack one and you play the story of Mortal Kombat one, well, all the characters in there are available to you, except for Shang Tsung, Ermac, and Quan Chi. And yet they are also pivotal characters in the story. All three of them, right? Maybe not so much Ermac, but he's kind of big near the end-ish, right? You know, Quan Chi is probably second, second, and then of course Shang is first, in that order of, of importance. But they're all in the base game so if you never bought the combat pack they're all in the base game in the base story right so with that logic they go well we're going to take out these characters and make them make people buy them because they know that people will buy them they know that because of shang song right great oh, i thought it was a great portrayal of shang and you know pretty much all the characters to a degree in the game in the story but Ermac and Quan Chi also some pretty big heavy hitters as well. And rather than just sort of go, oh, well, maybe we should release the game later and then have them included, which would have been far better. And then the Combat Pack 1 should have been actual characters that weren't part of the story. They thought, no, nah, we're going to cut, 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 and we're going to sell that back to you.
Let's read some comments. Uh, Sonic X246 says, Why was Shang Tsung a DLC? He's a major character in the story and had his own playable chapter. I repeat myself, Shang Tsung shouldn't have been a pre-order bonus in the first place. Especially if he was the main villain of the first story. Right? This dude says, I can't believe that the main character of the game is optional. At least before it was Goro who had no part in the story. NRS Warner Brothers are so gritty, like how hard is it to include one fighter? Who honestly shouldn't be DLC in the first place. Mm -hmm. Still don't have Shang Dam because I didn't pre-order. I can't imagine why anyone would pay $8 for this game, let alone just one fighter. Making you pay for the main villain of the base game is what... Imagine, imagine like, you know, buying MK9 and you had to buy Shao Kahn. Right. Although, technically speaking, you can't play... That's not a good analogy, because I, I keep thinking of my modded version where I can play Shao Kahn. Right. Uh, who have we got? Oh, so none of the bosses actually were playable in the base game MK9, so I guess that's fine. Uh, what would be a better example? Uh, just trying to think. Oh, okay, MK11. Yeah, MK11. So imagine... What was the pre-order bonus for the MK11? Uh, let me just double check. Because Shao Kahn was part of the base roster, right? So that means that... Imagine, if you will, that it would... So MK11 then. Um, let me have a look. Uh, combat Pack 1, Combat Pack 2, separate characters. Uh, Shao Kahn... Well, Shao Kahn was separate. So, with Shao Kahn, I'm just... Maybe somebody can refresh my memory here. Was this a pre-order bonus? I can't... I honestly can't remember, man, because I didn't give a fuck. But, like, was Shao Kahn a previous... Because he was heavily involved in the story. Right? Let me check. Hang on, let's see. Uh, Bowsub, I think, has actually answered my question. Uh, this is how it worked in MK11. I bought the Ultimate Edition upgrade and it didn't come with Shao Kahn. Oh. So they did it again. So Shao Kahn must have been a pre-order bonus. Maybe so, somebody, somebody remind me in the chat, right? So I'm assuming that Shao Kahn was a pre-order bonus for MK11. Was that, was that what happened? And then, um... And then you could buy him separately, obviously, if you did pre-order. Oh, excuse me! And then apparently now, like this dude's saying, yep, he's not part... Oh my god. I mean, you know. Just what's the logic here? Like, it's an old game. Not to mention the fact that, like, do they not understand the optics of it? The optics being that, you know, you literally are carving out content out of the game. The main base game. And selling it back to the player. Right? I mean, he's a cool character and all, but, like, I don't see that many people using him. Right, whenever I've played online. Maybe in the beginning. You know, when people were playing ping pong with you. You know, kick, up high wall, kick, up high wall, you know. But, I barely see him now. Barely see most of this roster when I play online, actually. So, it's sort of... Hmm. I don't, I don't know, man. I just... How could you be so fucking out of touch? It's one character, and you can't even include it in the ultimate sort of one-year bundle, if you will, for this game. Anyway, that's 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 like that's like that's like measurable disappointment as my reaction to the Warrior Shrine. Right. Anyway, catch you next time.